Excellent news. We have something cool. We have an integration with Google Tag Manager. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Until now, Pixel Your Site was a direct competitor to Google Tag Manager, meaning that we offered our customers ways to integrate the MetaPixel, Conversion API, Google Analytics, Google Ads, Pinterest, Bing, TikTok, uh, as an alternative to Google Tag Manager. But now we have our own integration with Google Tag Manager, and it means that you can install any tag you want using Pixel Your Site on your WordPress website, tracking all the data, preparing the data layer, pushing the events to uh, Google Tag Manager, and Google Tag Manager to configure uh, any tag you want. And uh, I will show you what we do, what we plan to do, how it works, and why this is such a major step forward for Pixel Your Site. But first, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, share this video. It will actually help us a lot. What do we have new inside Pixel Your Site? Uh, is this tiny little section right here? Google tag ID. You can add your uh, container ID in this field, save, and we will do the magic. We also have an option to send only the data layer without the container tag. Right now it's here on the tag setting, GTM tag settings page, but I plan to move it uh, right here. I have to tell you that this is a new addition. We are still working. We have a lot, a lot of stuff to add, features to add. Uh, we will make some changes. Um, things will look different in the future. So maybe uh, when you watch the video, we already have this option here to send just the, con the data layer. Uh, maybe you want to uh, install the container tag with some consent plugin and the data layer with Pixel Your Site is doable. Another thing I want to show you, we already have um, this file, download file here, version 1.0.10. Uh, it means that you can download this file and you can upload it into your um, container inside Google Tag Manager and you will have all the triggers needed to detect our events, or yes, our events, all the variables needed to detect our parameters and in this version, uh, everything you need to have Google Analytics 4, GA4, uh, installed inside your container. So basic stuff. Uh, the plan is to add more tags. And I want you to know, to tell me which tag would you like to see? Maybe Twitter X, maybe Snapchat, maybe LinkedIn. What else? What tags are you interested to have in our uh, upload file? So you can easily configure inside your uh, Google Tag Manager uh, container. Let me know in comments below this video and uh, we will try to do them. The plan is to do them all, everything there is, but in time, it takes some time. Uh, so let me know which one would you like to see next. Another thing I want to mention before moving forward is not possible to use our native integration, this one, and uh, Google Tag Manager for the same uh, tag. So you have to decide between using uh, our native tags, which have some very useful features, or Google Tag Manager. Um, my advice is to keep the native integration in place if you already have them, and install other tags with um, uh, Google Tag Manager, the ones that we don't support, or if you are uh, very familiar with Google Tag Manager, and if you feel much more comfortable uh, using it, okay, uh, move everything in Google Tag Manager. Otherwise, our integration have some features that we cannot replicate inside Google Tag Manager. Now, um, what will the data layer have? All our events. It means these events from here, uh, these events track uh, important actions on your website. You can see that now we have this enable uh, on GTM data layer option. If you want to remove an event from the data layer, simply disable and save. And uh, we will also send all our parameters. You can see them here. 
these are the parameters that we track uh, and send now to the data layer and to Google Tag Manager and the tags installed there. We have WooCommerce support, of course. And here as well, we have our events tracking uh, e-commerce actions. This one tracks purchases. All, all these options here are quite useful. Now, as you can see, we send this event into the GTM data layer. Uh, it's the same for all our events. And of course, for the parameters related to WooCommerce, you can control the parameters here. We also have our uh, manually configured events. So instead of configuring an event inside Google Tag Manager, you can configure it here and tracking all sorts of data. For example, we have native integration with a lot of form plugins and you can uh, track form submission easily like this. I'm not going to show you how uh, our triggers work. We have uh, dedicated videos for this. Once you have the trigger ready, enable the event for Google Tag Manager. Use a custom, a custom name or a standard name. Add the name here. You can also add uh, parameters here. Uh, our import file will have variables detecting up to five custom parameters. For more than five, you need to um, configure them inside Google Tag Manager. So these parameters will be detected as well. And we have a consent support with our Constant Magic plugin. Constant Magic does all the necessary stuff. We inform the user, we ask permission, and then we modify the code for Google um, Constant Mode according to user um, options. So we also have support for uh, Google Tag Manager and Google Tags installed there with Constant Magic. This is an important uh, addition. This is the direction I want to develop the plugin and uh, add more and more stuff about Google Tag Manager and more features around this. And I want to make Pixelator site a, a very powerful tool for tracking in general. And instead of being a competitor to Google Tag Manager, I want to I want Pixelator site to be a complementary tool, something that works independently very well for our native inst integration, but also works very well with Google Tag Manager. So that's it. I hope you like this video. I plan to do a bunch of other videos about this topic. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and uh, see you next time.